All right, so infraspinatus now, which is the sister to our uh, supraspinatus, but obviously now it's in the posterior portion. Once again, this needs to be on stretch. Uh, <clears throat> we know that infraspinatus trigger points love to refer to the anterior portion of the shoulder and actually down. So for those of you that are familiar with Simeon's frozen shoulder technique, you'll realize how these trigger points are very, very important. Okay, so once again, we're going to follow the line of the muscle fibres. We're going to look at basically homing in on the upper part of the infraspinatus and the trigger points here, which are just directly below the spine of the scap here. Um, we're going to start out the posterior portion of our shoulder, anchor it down there, and then we'll get Leah once again into a bit of flexion, a little bit of horizontal flexion, okay. And then we're just going to wrap down and underneath. So find the spine of your scap. That's the most important critical part here because basically those trigger points will be just below that. So coming around and peeling that down there. Okay, trigger points. So we have one almost at the end of the spine of the scap and another one sort of midway along. That one's a bit tender there. Yep, yeah. So Leah's a rower, so she'll definitely have trigger points in the infraspinatus, and if she didn't, she's not rowing properly, is she? Okay, so just late ones, not active ones. So that's our trigger point site here. Basically, tension again, 80 or 90, straight onto that area there, and peel her off, and there we go. So you can obviously hone in on the anterior portion of that trigger point as well, there's no doubt about that, or even if you want to wrap it a little bit further along, and down towards the mid portion of the infraspinatus as well. But please yourself, depending on your client and your palpation assessment skills, will depend on which, which route you take in that respect. All right.